Last week, we talked about the brief history of Battle Spirits and some of the mechanics in the game. If you haven't watched it yet, I highly suggest you do so before watching this one. Are you back? Very good. So today, we'll be taking a look at the first two stun decks ever released. Burning Stardust and Chaos Guardian. Now this video will be different from our usual deck overview videos because instead of going through every single detail, we'll just take a quick look through its contents. So without further ado, let's get started. Burning Stardust and Chaos Guardian were both released on September 13th, 2008. And rather than being numbered sets, the cards inside were a part of BS01, the first booster set in the series. Both start decks come with a 48 card deck, a black and white paper playmat each that you can use to play with your friends in case they do not have one, a version 1.1 rule manual that is way outdated now and written in Mandarin because this is an Asian set, and a pack of 15 cores. The so call is not found in here because so calls were not implemented at the time of the start deck's releases. Burning Stardust contains red and green cards, while Chaos Guardian contains white and purple cards. As you can see, the packaging is very different from the Japanese releases. There really isn't much to say about the packaging other than this. It's a box, and it holds things, specifically plastic and a stack of paper. That's it. Most of the cards in these start decks are vanilla cards, that is, spirits without any effects whatsoever. The cards with effects on the other hand, have been reprinted in later sets with updated effects to either implement newer mechanics such as the aforementioned so call, or to give them a buff so that they can be more viable in the current scene. That doesn't mean you can't use the older cards anymore though, so as long as you still adhere to the standard 3 copy per card rule, feel free to use any version of any card you like. The effects printed on the card will determine what effects you will use, so make sure you choose wisely. These are very very rare products, so if you can get your hands on these, they're perfect for collecting or for teaching the basics to anyone who's interested in getting into Battle Spirits. Battle Spirits turned 10 this year, so I feel that this is the best way to celebrate its long running success as well as the perfect way for us to kickstart our Battle Spirits journey here on this channel. With that said, I hope you've been entertained by this two part documentary on Battle Spirits. We'll be doing more Battle Spirits content in this channel in the future, so you can be sure that more videos will be coming your way. Please like this video and subscribe to us, follow us on our socials, join our Discord server, and of course, support us on our Patreon. Thank you for watching and remember to always have fun playing Battle Spirits. And here's a toast to the 10th year anniversary of Battle Spirits. We'll see you in the next video. Bye! Ah, this is life. <laughs>